Good evening, welcome to this beautiful summer's evening. We have all sorts of noises going on, but we're going to persevere. Um, this is uh, called Into the Woods and Out Again, and the Out Again is the really uh, relevant point. And it's by Dina Glauberman. Um, and it's a fascinating book. It's um, a personal memoir. I don't read a lot of personal memoirs, but every time I do, I, I always think I should read more because I just think they're so interesting. Um, and people's perspectives and understandings are so interesting. Um, this was particularly uh, relevant for me, I suppose, because I spent 15 years as a lecturer in mental health recovery. And so um, this is a tale of Dina's personal experience of mental distress and the impact on her work, her family, her life, um, her interactions with mental health professionals, with all sorts of different um, people, um, and her thoughts on that I particularly found interesting and her experiences I found particularly, I mean, sometimes distressing, um, but still very interesting. And it's just so, uh, it's a very personal tale. You feel a little bit like um, uh, you're kind of eavesdropping, you know, on someone discussing really private things and you sort of wonder a couple of times I thought, thought oh, I, don't know if, I don't know if she should be telling me this, I don't know her. Um, so it's very um, poetically written, it's very honest, it's very... Um, it's very uh, there's great clarity in the writing um, and she works professionally within mental health services as well so she has a you know quite a, a unique understanding really of her own experience but also she can express it within um, a kind of you know her lived experiences is expressed within her understanding from a professional uh, background as well um, it's also sort of how how um, the impact on her and her family and, and the various decisions that she made through life. I mean, some bits are quite sad and quite poignant. Um, but ultimately, I think the, the sort of thrusting message of the book is that she, you know, she survived and she's made an amazing life. And um, she has been able to work with herself, come to understand herself, come to understand her how her brain works, how her perception of the world around her um, is unique to her and that there are, I mean, she can even find times during mental distress where that that was okay if in, on some levels. You know, there were bits of that that she actually found beneficial. Um, and ultimately it's about, um, you know, the, the positive message that actually mental distress can be managed and worked through and an end on some level um, even though it may come back um, this idea she uses oh, she talks to us about transformation and, and that's a really powerful message I think of positivity and hope and and work really you know she's put enormous effort into her own health um, and I think that's that's also a really important message so it's a fascinating book on the sort of personal level it's also, if you're interested in that, a fascinating book from a mental health perspective, which I am. Um, and I've read a lot of stuff in this field, and so it was nice to come across such an open and descriptive and honest portrayal. Um, so it, it's good uh, sort of on lots of different levels. I mean, if you're just interested in family, um, you know, how families... Uh, interact um it's it's really interesting on that level and the sort of decisions we make and and how they how they then have that you know that drip in the ocean that then ripples out um so it's a really interesting book i you know thoroughly um i'm sure you'd thoroughly enjoy reading it um it's uh yeah it's interesting and um and hopeful full of hope so it's also got a very beautiful cover. It's called Into the Woods and Out Again. Um, and I think it's a, a really um, meaty read.